You know, I've seen people that didn't place any value in themselves and did it uh, as a part of their faith. They didn't believe it was right. They thought it would be promoting their ego to place a value in themselves. And then I've seen others that placed a value on themselves in the right way. Not inflating themselves up to be an image they weren't, but holding on to the image that God gave them of what they are, what they could be. I found that the latter are the successful ones in life. The others are always missing something. You have to value yourself or no one else will value you. You have to value that you are God's creation, that you're special. And to know this is to be able to go beyond our self-doubts. Pearl Bailey has said, first and worst of all frauds is to cheat oneself. Well, I've known many people, and so have you, that have cheated themselves, that were part of a, a scandal against who they were created to be. In Proverbs 19, verse 8, it says to acquire wisdom. Now listen to this. It says to acquire wisdom is to love oneself. If you don't love the creation that you are, if you don't love your abilities that God gave you, if you don't love the specialness, the uniqueness that only you are, well, who else will? And it goes on to say people who cherish understanding will prosper. So I read that again. To acquire wisdom is to love oneself. People who cherish understanding will prosper. One of the biggest things that I teach in my prosperity seminars is self-worth. It is the first key to obtaining success. To know who you are and to value that. Well, now the big question comes. Do you place a high value on you? Do you place a high value on your time and your talents? My friend, you should. After all, you were created by God with an array of talents that are unique, and you have unique opportunities because of those talents all of which God wants you to use. We always talk about doing God's will. What is doing God's will? Well, a huge part of that is to use the talents that God has given you to use effectively and efficiently. But if you've acquired the unfortunate habit of devaluing yourself and your efforts, it is time to pray about this, and to have the touch of God again, and a recreation of God, to revolutionize the way that you think about your career, about your capabilities, your opportunities, and your future. No one can build up self-confidence if they're unwilling to believe in the value that they have as a child of God. The world won't give you much respect until you show appropriate respect for yourself. So if you've been talking yourself down, and I hear people do this all the time, or selling yourself short, stop. Remember this, the God of the whole universe handcrafted you. You're custom, and you're precious in God's sight.